Dear students, now I will answer your question number 3 from KMX1, here's an Excel A-level exam. Exam was taken in January 2024. A van travels with constant acceleration along a straight horizontal road. The van passes the point A with speed U. 20 seconds later, after time T, T is 20 seconds, passes the point B with speed 28. So initial speed is u and final speed will be uh, 28. That is called v. The distance uh, we represent it by s. So it is 400. Show that u equals to 12. Better use this information here on a straight line because when it's traveling on a straight line, so we can use here a and b. And uh, initial speed is u and final speed is at point b that is uh, 28 meter per second. Acceleration is A and time taken is 20 seconds and distance is 400 meters. It is also uh, also given there that is 400 meters. Let me write this information in this uh, swath equation like S U V A T. Distance is given that is uh, 400. Uh, U in this question we need to find it and V is 28. Acceleration is uh, will remain same, but and time taken is 20. You remember all those equations. If three things are known, the fourth you could find easily. If three values, because in each equation there are four variables given, if three variables are known, the fourth one you could find it. Here, if you remember the formula for distance, uh, that is equals to the average velocity multiplied time. Average velocity is u plus v divided by 2 multiplied time. You have to memorize this formula as well. Substitute the values to get uh, the value of u for this case. We need to prove u equals to 12. Here, three things are known, so fourth one you to find is uh, 400 and uh, equals u is unknown, keep as is, plus v is 28 divided by 2. Multiply by time, time taken is 20. So you can write as yeah. this 2 and 20 can be cancelled out. We'll be left with 10. This 10 will divide other side, so implies that 40 will be equals to you can cancel out this 10 with zeros, you know. So it will be equals to u plus 28. And u will be equals to 40 minus 28, that is equal to 12. 12 meter per second. So this is the answer for first part it is as required so first part is done yes find time taken for the van to travel from a to the midpoint so if you take here the midpoint now the new distance let's say that is equals to uh, we can say that is 200 half half way divided by 2 Acceleration will remain same throughout, you know, uh, from A to B. Let's say this is a midpoint M. Now, uh, again, write the things what are given here. Acceleration we need to find here because from here to here we have only distance and we have initial velocity and we don't have uh, V here. Okay, so to find P, e, at least you should have P e value. Like uh, we are writing here the things that are given for from A to B. Uh, sorry, from A to M, the midpoint. S, uh, write the again. So what? Distance is 200. Let's say it is S1. U is already found, that is 12. Final loss we don't have. Acceleration we don't have. And we need to find time taken actually for this part from A to B. As I told you earlier, in these SWAT equations, there are four variables. If three are known, the fourth one you can find in here. But in this in this part, we have just only two. Uh, the thing you could find V or you could find T. That's your choice. Uh, acceleration, sorry. These two are known. One of them should be known. So acceleration we could find easily from uh, the previous because acceleration remains constant. So we can write here for A to B, we know 
we can apply this formula v equals to u plus a t for a to b this is for a to b if v is 28 u we already found there so we can write here 28 and here u 12 sorry 12 and acceleration we need to find and time taken uh, is uh, given there that is 20 so you can put over there that's fine. so from here we could find easily acceleration 28 goes left side so it will be equal to 20a equals to 28 minus 12 is 16 and a will be equals to 16 divided by 20 0 0.8 meter per second square so this is the acceleration the acceleration that is 0 0.8 now s equals to ut plus half at square half at uh, now plug in the values s is 200 you can use here 200 and u is 12 and t you should uh, find here plus 1 over 2 into 0 0.8 t square so we can write as 0 0.4 t square plus 12 t minus 200 will be equals to 0 we can solve this equation by using quadratic formula by quadratic formula let me write the quadratic formula for you x equals to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2 so by using that we could find easily value of t minus b b is 12 so it will be minus 12 plus minus b square that will be 144 minus 4 a a is 0 0.4 and c is minus 200 divided by 2 a 2 multiply a 2 into 0 0.4 now uh, use calculator to find the value under the square root we get the answer as 4 square root 29 divided by 0 0.8 uh, there are two answers for t but we will take only the positive value because time cannot be negative uh, you can reject here negative value reject negative so positive answer will be negative 12 plus 4 square root 29 divided by 0 0.8 t equals to 11.9 mostly we are writing the answer to 3 signature figures so I will keep it up to 3 signature figures that's it so this is the answer for this part the van has mass uh, 1200 kg during its motion, the van experienced a constant resistive uh, force of magnitude 260 newton. Find the magnitude of driving force exerted by the engine of the van as it travels from it. So, resistive force is 260, and we need to find the driving force. Well, let's say this is a van. Driving force is acting this way from A to B, and force of resistance is 260 newton. So these are two forces acting on the van. Number one driving force, number two 260. By Newton's second law, we can write as net force equals to ma. Because acceleration is this way and that acceleration is 0 0.8 we already found, the net force could be found by subtracting 260 from Fd. So we need to find this force in this part. Fd minus 260 equals to mass. Mass is 1200. For this, uh, this value is 1200 kilograms. It is given in the question. So it will be 1200 here. And acceleration will keep as 0 0.8. We already found acceleration during the motion remains constant. No. So Ft could be found from here. That's it. It is very easy. You will take this value to the other side. 1200 multiplied by 0 0.8 will be 960 and uh, plus 260. And finally, our answer will be. Driving force will be equal to 1220 newton. So, this is the answer for the last part. Question number three is done.